Thinking about the data, I, I often say that there are no insights in the data warehouse. Uh, that's the job uh, that has to be done with the data. Uh, when you think about uh, uh, the data and it, thinking about how to utilize all of it, there's so much out there to, to be used. From a managerial standpoint, what should a higher ed marketer be thinking about in terms of the right reporting tools, being able to visualize the data so that it's useful to them to then uh, make good decisions. Right, so first I think about what are your uh, schools and functionals, functional departments objectives. Start with the objectives and you want to put measurement systems in place to measure those objectives. Then if you have key strategies to meet those objectives, you want to make sure you're measuring those strategies. So I, I like how you put it, you know, insights are not in the data warehouse. And I see a lot of schools where there might be data rich and insight poor. And what I mean by that is there's data there, but we need people to think through what does it mean? <coughs> the data is telling you, you know, what? But we got to answer, so what? Like, what, what, like what's happening? Mm -hmm. um, and that understanding of what's happening then directs what do you do next? Um, and I see a lot of, uh, in my past companies and currently schools where they take data and they move right to action and they're missing a critical step in the middle where they're saying that data is here, what's the insight? Because the insight is gonna direct the action much better than the data will. How important is personalization and where do you see that going in the future? Yeah, I'd say more and more, <laughs> right? Um, the, the expectation. Uh, just uh, keeps uh, going up. And, and uh, here's what I would think about with personalization. We see a lot of schools where personalization is driven from uh, a CRM system, um, and that's great. You know what, that's a really good step in the right direction. But we see an opportunity to connect data more. So often data lives within its own system and the system, the different systems don't talk to each other, and they're collecting all of this interesting data. And I, I've seen some great examples where we can put together um, uh, GA, Google Analytics data, so web, web behavior data with customer relationship management, CRM data in terms of where someone is in the funnel, and get a richer understanding of who that um, prospective student is, and then deliver a better experience, then deliver a better message for where they are in their journey and, and what might be more interesting to them based on some of the behavior that, that they've exhibited. It's very heartening to hear you talk about the use of that data in that way. Uh, I concerned that sometimes uh, these days marketers are thinking of data and access to data on a customer as, as simply another means to help sell, uh, as opposed to using those insights to design a better experience for uh, the customer. And so it sounds like your, your, uh, your moral compass around how to use data, uh, for me, is very heartening to hear. Yeah, you know, students, they're savvy. One, 18 year olds are not even looking at email all that much. Emailing them more and just saying their name in there and, and doing it frequently, that, that's probably not your road to success. But creating a better experience through data um, is a much better road to success.